There's more to life than going with the flow. So what if it's a mad idea or you don't have the money to do it or whatever, just go and you just look after. If you have an idea, like don't be sitting at home and like polishing it and going over it until you're ready to like release and it's perfect. Just go with it. It's really a lot about self-discipline and about making yourself come in somewhere at the same time every day, sit down and work. I'm not like um, one of those artists that gets real frustrated and goes over it again and again and again. It's like once, it, once it's done, it's done and then I try and move on to the next. I think the reward was the people in our lives and they have fueled and inspired us to keep going. If we made food and dealt with horrible people, you wouldn't survive that through the times of no money and through the, the, the issues that you would reach. You know, you, you, you have to be rewarded by the people around you and, and work with. We never thought that this would be more than a college project. You know, it feels like for us, we've just, you know, put a bit of energy into it, but then other people's energy keeps moving it forward. It's not always easy to be fully honest. I do find it hard to stand up in front of audiences and speak my direct, literal truth. And speak it because like, you know what, one day I'll be dead and gone and it'll just be the work that remains. The worst thing is when people say, do you know what you should do? <laughs> that happens an awful lot. And they say something that you're not at all interested in. And uh, you have to be like, that's nice, thank you, but I, this is what I do. I'm not even sure we know at the moment what it is. It's something that comes from us doing things together, finding an interesting path through it, but it's all just things that make sense to the two of us. It gets into your blood and if you're lucky enough to find something that you love and you can shoehorn that into a profession, I think that's like half the battle, you know? We didn't want to work for other people again and we didn't want to do anything else and so there was no other choice. We had to start our own bakery.